Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing the bridge. Um, let's turn God mode on so that we can float around. Um, so as you can see, obviously the ship exterior is looking pretty good. Um, so we're <laughs> we've got a quite a lot of work to do on the interior. So it's pretty much just a an empty shell. Um, but that's good because we know what we need to work, work with, with um, and, and what space, space we need to fill up. So I'm going to start things uh, nice and easily uh, with the bridge. I think the bridge um, is a fairly easy uh, space to design. So um, you know, and, and you can go mad on it. I think I'm thinking obviously the the main uh, drive deck up here. So I'll probably put probably put a cockpit right at the front here, but uh, maybe maybe not that one. I mean, I do love symmetry, so. Let's try maybe that one. Let's pull him back a bit away from the window. Um, so you know, it's a starting point. Uh, maybe a captain's chair as well. You know, captain should be center of the room. Uh, and then we can we can add some consoles in to sparse uh, brighten this place up a bit. Let's put some lighting. Uh, turn the power on. That's better. Uh, so what I was thinking. You know, I'll fill this place with sort of consoles and fancy holographic screens, so it actually looks like a bridge. But um, the bare bones, uh, what a bridge should be, is here, I suppose. You, you've got the, the cockpit and should be able to fly the ship now with that. I want to make this um, probably like a glass wall with a glass door into it. And then this room here, uh, I'm thinking like a command center uh, type arrangement, maybe with um, a step step down and then a step up um, so that you've got sort of like a, a data banks like the sensors or something like that working underneath and then on top you've got tactical with um, you know you can have a lot of fun with it because we've got um, the decor blocks and they're a lot of fun so um, and I'll, we'll come to this sort of space later but <clears throat> I think it's important when you are decorating the inside of the ship um, to, to so I have a design in mind. I mean, not all the time. I'm just going with it here, so this could work out quite well, or it could backfire horribly. Um, so I'm gonna go with. Um, no, that's not gonna work, is it? Because I want stairs. Let's turn that around, like like so. And bring you in. Uh, I need some door blocks. Door blocks. Uh, go at the glass door. Have that there. Um, I'm gonna need some stairs now. Have we got some stairs? Yeah, I got some stairs. Excellent. So I was thinking um, two stairs down and one stairs up. Um, and that's gonna be tricky, but not impossible. Um, so what we can do here uh, is bring these. Over, bring that over. So join that up. Um, let's do a nice triangle. Uh, oh, I've gone too far. No, not far enough. Ah, uh, okay, like that, and like that. So when you're coming down the stairs, you're not going to hit your head. Little touches, little touches. You know, be nice to your crew. They got a, they got a tough job. Um, the other thing I might consider doing, actually, um, <coughs> and I do this a lot, uh, is I put a load of blocks down and then completely undo it all again, um, because in order to give the illusion of space, um, we can use the wall blocks here. So I might even be able to just go straight across with those. Uh, oh yeah, we've got gravity here, that's not going to work. Let's just pretend. Do 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 Yeah, that works. So, that gives you a plus two head height. Uh, I like to have plus two head height uh, in any floor really, because well, it's just nicer, I think. Um, let's go back to blocks, and cover that off. So, there we go. 
little bit of a, a mezzanine floor uh, there and, and I can put a door in there later if I want I might just level this off uh, it's a bit of a waste of space but I don't like having uh, random blocks there um, and this is this is nice I think you know this is only one block high but actually that's good that's good um, so the rest of the ship, I mean, this, I think I was going to do like a forward engineering type thing because of course we've got the huge thrusters on the front here so this thing can stop and turn. Um, so it would make sense that there's some rather large sort of uh, engine mechanics here with some fuel pipes. I might even put some fuel tanks under some combat steel or on top of some combat steel here maybe. Um, but anyway, uh, that's for later, uh, let's go back to the bridge. So this is, you know, this is the fun bit, I think. Uh, getting to l put the consoles down, um, and you can, you can have a lot of fun with just decorating. These console pieces are really good. It's really <laughs> difficult to decide which ones to go with. I mean, some of them are a little bit too big, I think. Um, and the difficulty is because that's they're obviously a whole block, so you have to put the chair. If you put a chair against it, it's a whole other block, and suddenly everything seems very spaced out. And the same with that one. If I put that one there, it's only a little console. Uh, it would be nice to be able to put the chair right in front of it, but um, we're not going to be able to do that. So I put two of those there. Um, it's the same on the other side. I am a stickler for uh, symmetry. <laughs> it's a weakness or a sickness. Um, so yeah, like some holographic displays. Um, let's not obscure the pilot's vision too much. Actually, let's not obscure it at all. Um, I don't want the captain to be able to see this sort of stuff. So let's put them there. So the pilot, the pilot's not obscured. He's got still full vision around. Um, but the captain has got these nice heads up displays right in front of him um, and we can put some more tactical type consoles maybe for the pilot to use I don't know, it's a tricky one, see? so you can put that there, ah, it just looks out of place, it just looks rubbish nope, go away so far it's not a massively impressive bridge, is it? Put the <laughs> it looks a bit silly. But you get what I'm trying to do, obviously. Um, fully functional bridge crew would be in here, these would be sat at the desk working away on these consoles, the captain would have tactical view um, and the pilot would have unobstructed view around. Um, I mean, a pilot in a ship like this is probably just going to be mostly flying with sensors. Maybe we can put some more consoles down in this corner. How would that look? That would look silly. Yeah, that's not that's not, that's not sensible. So. Hmm. Maybe. 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 Mm. It's really tricky. It's tricky. I want to fill this space, but I'm not sure what with. I wonder if. I wonder if this would work. Oh, oh, that looks. That looks quite cool. I think. Uh, yeah, let's let's try it with a few others. Let's try it with this bad boy. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, you know, as long as you don't pay too much attention to what's actually on the screen. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Um. Oh, what about these? Do these look? I mean, I know these are consoles that you're supposed to type in on things, but you could say that. You know, the display screens. Eh? 
What do you think? Oh, I think that looks quite neat. Now, I wonder if we can change the lighting in here. Because um, one thing about these uh, is, I think, think bright white is really this is the trouble find out which light it is so not clear uh, interior light interior light interior light or is it just light it's going to be just light isn't it good luck guessing which that one is ok let's see if we can see both of them this will make it easy ok um, I still can't see both of them Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Oh my god, look at all the interior lights. Maybe it's the last one? No? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, now that I've grouped them, maybe if I destroy these and replace them. Um, I'll put them on the ceiling. Ah, look! <sighs> oh, yes. Yes. That is... That's nice, right? It feels like... It feels like a bridge. It feels intense. Like we're gonna be... we're gonna be under fire. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just fun putting these things together. I like it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put some textures and color on the wall now. Uh, what we got? That's the color. Let's start with textures actually. <coughs> so we've got full combat steel all over here, and I don't like the way it looks, so I'm just gonna blank it out. Um, combat steel I'm just looking at it, it just looks like normal steel now <coughs> dee -dee 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 -dee. right so now, um, we can apply some funky textures somewhere uh, quite like right, so it's with these textures I think it's just trial and error whatever looks good you know I can put them on there um, and go nope that does not look good. What about the vents? No, that's not vents. That one. No. How about lights? <gasps> hmm. Interesting. Maybe not those ones. Ew. And then, and then I can paint them blue. Oh, blue. Uh, lighter blue. Ah, there you go. You see? Ooh, lighting. Oh, I can go bonkers with it. Paint them yellow. There's a lot of blue. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Contrast. Red. Now, doesn't that look badass? That looks badass. I like that looks badass. Just keeping that. Still not sure about this area. Um, what I might do is paint this not red. Or yellow. Oh, that's awful. Hmm. I don't know, some way to indicate that you're not allowed to walk here. Or you shouldn't be walking here. You know, in front of the pilot. It's a no-go zone. No-go zone. Uh, you know, orange? No, it's too, it's too colourful. You know, we... Eh. Mm. It's difficult. It's such a limited colour palette. Um, I wish they would introduce a few more pages of colours. Uh, it would be nice. Uh, maybe purple. Uh, let's try a lighter shade. Kind of. Well, in that case, blue, isn't it? Let's stick with the blue. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it doesn't really shout. Don't go here, but um, you know, I think it's, it's better than better than nothing. Uh, so the rest of it is very grey. Do we want to keep it grey? I mean. It's a military ship after all, so it's not going to be super colourful. Oh, I missed a bit. Right there. Uh, 
hitboxes on these things really annoying. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting flight into it. There we go. <coughs> so I don't know if I can paint that black and that will highlight it some more. I'm not painting the actual thing black now. Probably gonna get these consoles, just do that, it's easy enough. Remove colour. It's quite cool. The whole top level black. Black. Now bear with me on this one. I think the light brown looks classy as a sort of flooring. It's not quite like wood flooring. But there you go. Yeah. Transformed. Nice. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun with um, putting these things together. All of this, all of this stuff, and actually the only thing you actually need in here is this. <laughs> it's the only functional bit uh, in the entire bridge. Well, you know, the passenger seats can be used as well, but they don't really do anything other than accommodate buttocks. So, but it's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think that worked out. I like these blue lights. They just set the mood. They set the tone. Condition blue. We have some Klingons or something. Have it out of space. So yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's the bridge. That's the bridge. I mean, there's a lot more to do. Let's do. I tell you what. I've got a bit of time. Let's let's not end it there. Let's carry on a little bit. Let's do. Um, the command center as well. I'm going to texture this first of all before I start placing things. Do, 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 do. Just quickly run through this. Texture, sorry, I know this is very interesting. Let's try and do this as quickly as possible. Yeah. Make a mini game out of this. Like Pac Man. Mine, 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 mine. Mm. Ugh. Mm, I forgot about this top bit. Let's do that. Come on. There's so much. So much. But you know, this is a lot of time. If you want it to look good, if you want it to look like it was manufactured in a factory and not in Minecraft, you have to spend the time texturing these blocks so, you know, it looks like bulkheads, not blocks. Okay, so I'm um, still not quite sure how I'm going to do this bit, whether I'm going to have a big grandiose sort of open plan or uh, just one door and some glass. It's a difficult one because this is this is the command center. You don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry looking in, but at the same time it's going to look awesome so you don't really want to shut it off either. Um, I like to use the big panes and there's less breaks. Uh, doors, 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 doors. Um, page up. How do I want it? Uh, I'll just do it on the inside. I could have done the flat walls there, but I would have had a weird lip there. Uh, like, well, I've got one anyway, you can see just about um, there. Uh, I don't really like that, but I can't really do anything about that um, without sacrificing the two block headroom. So, that is quite good. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is it's not an airlock door um, because this ship is modular. These large sections here, as you can see, there would be an airlock in between here because this section, well, if it got blown up, you know, it, w it wouldn't decompress the entire ship. So we can just say this section and the bridge command center are one section. I don't get around that. That's fine. <sighs> I still like this. Right, anyway. 
command center so up here let's put some safety first ladies and gentlemen we've always got to think about safety first so this is going to be uh, annoying but necessary um, I'm going to put them over the stairs because it's not really anything to do with stairs what the hell is going on uh, page up oh why can't I put that there oh because it's already occupied by that little blighter god damn it Roof and all that. Um, okay, well, mm. let's put this one occupying that space and this one. Oh, there. And do the same on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Barriers. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Put barriers there, so I would imagine. Oh, yeah, we're upside down still. Let's uh, bring you back round. And the first thing you would see up here would be a admiral's table. And this is going to be a complete impractical space. Completely impractical. But you know, that's that's a command center for you. Um, so I'm thinking big sort of computer consoles here, so I'm going to put this beast in um, there. I'm going to put this beast in there. And I have a few of these lined up on the wall. I think that looks pretty cool. I don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, you know, this is command center. A lot goes on. Where will the brass decide who lives and who dies? They need lots of computers. So, there we go with my symmetry again. Uh, blue? Yeah! Blue? Yeah! See? Huh? Nice, right? So we're gonna have lots of admirals stood around here going, yes, 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 you see, you see, that sector there uh, is under attack by a douchebag over here, uh, so we need to send Fleet Alpha cocksuckers uh, to defend for reasons. Yes sir, yes sir Admiral. And yeah, all that shit. Mm. 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 Not entirely happy with that. I do like a space to be, to have some practical value, I'm just not sure what I can put here that's practical. Maybe some more chairs. Maybe some more chairs. Uh, I, need I don't know. I need it all. I need it all. I have to sacrifice something. No, no. Just put that over there. Who would have thought I'd be so attached to something that, you know, I can just spawn in? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah? Uh, let's just stick with those two. Right, put another one over here. Reasons. There. That works. Yeah, I can't mirror these things. It would be cool if I could mirror them so that that uh, big rectangular piece was on the other side like it is over there. But, um, hey ho. I'll have to just relax my symmetry OCDness for, for a while. That looks alright. I mean, mm, I might put another light directly above. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. It looks kind of like a black light. Maybe I can do something with a paint. Colour. Uh. Oh, it definitely looks like a black light. I mean, it's blue, but it looks purple. The The. The hue that it gives the room is perfect, but if you look at the light, it looks a bit pimpin. I don't know what the right word is. Pimpin probably isn't the right word. <sighs> the colour to contrast it against would be good. Um, hmm. 
brown? Ooh, hang on, hang on. That's not a hitboxes, see? That ain't a bad shout, actually. Brown. What? Seriously? Let's try browning this place up. Might just soften out, sort these consoles out in a minute. So get right in. The crevice. Look at this. Hitboxes on these things. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's try and paint before you place the consoles. But the thing is, it's still want to know the colour of a room before you set the mood of the room, yeah? Or some other douchey shit like that. Doink, 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 doink. Doink. Still look purple. I don't know what to do. Um, try taking them out. So if I switch to P and place this one. Switch to P, my interior light. Maybe I'll make it yellow? No, yellow sucks. That's a better, that's a better blue. Let's go with that blue. Yeah, 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 there you go. It <laughs> doesn't look like a black light now. And the hue is still good. That's pretty much all we're going to do for today, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you've given you some ideas on interior design, <laughs> interior ship design. Uh, I hope you really like the bridge as well. Let me know in the comments, and as always, uh, give us a like if you like the video, and even subscribe. Um, there is going to be a part three coming up soon, so check that out. Uh, until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.